Well, good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. Um, we're back in the MDF uh, for part two of this firewall fix. So if you'll remember, um, let's walk back over here real quick. Um, hope you don't, that doesn't get you too motion sick. Sure would me. Um, if you will remember, I had replaced a disc, actually two of them. These two guys on the bottom there, those two got replaced. And uh, Palo Alto support had me uh, add them back in by various commands. I can't remember what they are, they're all written down over here. Um, they, and I said, okay, that should fix your problem. And uh, I put the disks in and ran the commands, and it didn't fix the problem. So this looked just like it does, except there was an alarm light lit right there on the very top uh, right. There's a red alarm light, even after I replaced the disks. So I'm asking them, well, what do we do now? So they arranged for another support session for today. Um, and I just got off a, a two hour support call with them. Wait, what time is it? Uh, I don't know. It's two hours. Uh, they check all kinds of things, check all kinds of things, check all kinds of things. And then finally they said, hey, can we, uh, can we do a soft reboot on this thing? Sure, it's a standby. Let's, let's go for it. You know, if you think that'll help, let's do that. So uh, that guy down there. Um, so we do the reboot and it just hangs just sits there just sits there doing nothing so we waited about 20 minutes like um hmm, what do you want us to do you guys got any ideas i'm getting pretty nervous by this time because even though it's a backup if we lose our primary we've got no way for our users to talk to our servers without like re-engineering our our network and and i really don't want to do that so set this there so I don't have to hold it so much. Um, maybe it'll stay steadier that way. Who knows? So anyway, I um, said, well, what are we going to do now? And they're like, well, can we do a hard boot? I said, by hard boot, you mean you want me to pull the cables? Uh, yes, please. Okay, sure. It's it's the backup. The primary is still running. Let's do it. Um, while I go in the back, pull power cord number one. Hang on to it, reach over, pull power cord number two. Count to about 15, just to be sure. Um, plug them both back in and come back around. And then it took about, uh, I also plugged a console cable in just so we could watch it as it booted up. It took about uh, 15, almost 20 minutes to reboot. Um, but what it was doing is rebuilding the uh, RAID array for those two failed drives, the log drives. Um, so I rebuilt that. Finally, all these lights came on that you see after about 20 minutes. And uh, I was able to log in. We were able to ping it, but I couldn't log in because um, it hadn't brought up all the services yet. So brought them all up. He's up and running. Um, so he's got, he wants me to watch the uh, CPU utilization. It's actually, uh, there are a ton of counters. And there are many, many CPUs in this thing, believe it or not. There's different different uh, hardware layers um, that, do, that do different types of processing. But the overall management, um, he wanted me to watch a uh, wait time on that CPU, how long it's waiting to service a request or something. So it's one particular wait counter that I'm going to be watching over the next few days. And uh, hopefully that's going to take care of that. So the alarm light is now in fact out. Um, I saw on one command that it was a uh, rebuilding the uh, array. Uh, do I have that session going still? Bet I don't, because that would just be too convenient. Yeah, I don't. Anyway, sorry. I was going to check that RAID array and see if he's still rebuilding or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'll check it later. Like I said it would. I got to get back up and do something really important, like check email. So uh, anyway, um, so this is going to be part two of this firewall fix. It looks like it's fixed. Just going to keep my eye on it for a day or two. 
And then next week, we're going to upgrade the OS on this, this guy um, and the primary. Actually, first thing we'll do is fail over to this guy and make sure it's working. Then we'll upgrade the primary. We'll fail back to the primary, test the new OS, make sure it's working. If it is, then I'll upgrade the OS on the backup. So that's generally the way uh, Palo Alto has you do it. So anyway, going to be a short video this week. Um, hope you guys liked what you saw. If you did, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell. And as always, thanks for watching. That man right there, that's Jose. He knows where all the bodies are buried here. Anyway, God bless everybody. We'll see y'all next week. Right.